So is Devontae done with the Raiders? Vincent Bonsignor of Vegas Nation reporting that the Raiders are calling teams to see if they're interested in Devontae. This after an Instagram post about him playing his last game in a Raiders uniform appeared to be liked by his head coach, Antonio Pierce. Wait, say that again? Yeah. That happened. He liked the post. Uh, which I'm sure was it. immediately cleared up, right? Uh, not so much. Here's Kay Adams and Devontae. Yeah, I haven't, I haven't heard from him. I haven't, I haven't talked to him. So I haven't, uh, yeah, I don't know. I don't really know exactly what that was about. I'm surprised by that. I would think he'd hit, I would, that's, uh, okay. Well, I, I would think he'd, I mean, you work together every day. So if that, I would say, yeah. oh, oh, shoot, I accidentally hit that. I unliked it. Now it's this huge yeah. story. Is that just kind of like what the dynamic is? That's not something that you, 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 you want to hear from him? Honestly, it's, it's hard to, to comment on. Okay. okay. <laughs> Great job by Kay. I was going to say, that was, she handled that absolutely perfectly. <laughs> and because, I, she was clearly shocked. And, yes, and didn't want to be like, wow, that's messed up. Uh, also, I, 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 just real quick before you ask the question. I, it, the question is just reaction. I'm sure Antonio Pierce is a great guy, but this is why you don't hire the interim head coach. Can't be out here liking Instagram posts about players. Like, this is the... The hiring, hiring the interim coach is, is too closely related to marrying the first person you date post-divorce. Like, you, you're really, it's really, what they're they not two and two? Tell me I about. mean, I get, I'm just, two I just. Two and two got a win they shouldn't <laughs> have. Okay, all right. I mean, that's, seriously. I, what? Okay, yes. They're two and two with a win they shouldn't have. Okay, I, that, part, that part is true. Right, so. I also think professional football head coaches shouldn't be sending messages to their best player on their team via Instagram likes. Maybe it was supposed well, to be a, a thumbs down. Or and well then, but then that, you call you know, the guy thumbs and down on this social media. I'm not app. siding with Antonio because obviously Devontae Adams was a great player. What this makes me think though, and I'm just speculating, sure. just looking at this evidence. When he because Devontae obviously didn't play this last week against Cleveland. Some people feel like they're holding him out to trade him. When Antonio talked about guys making business decisions, was Devontae Adams one of the guys he was talking about? Devontae had 40 yards receiving that game, nine targets, only four catches. I, I'm not saying he no, was. No, maybe. I'm just he like, everybody put him two and two together. Jones because of that one video. But yeah. that makes that I mean, I, I don't understand why else this would happen and he would even – fool around with liking something well, like but that. Does, hasn't Antonio talked about guys standing up and guys taking accountability and guys being responsible for the things that they do? So if this is one of those situations where you're not happy with Devontae, then stand up, say something about it, talk to I the agree. player like directly. That it, well, <laughs> yeah, that, that whole, like, I didn't know what Kay's question was. Are you shocked that he was on Instagram liking posts? Like, was that, is that the original question? No, the question was, or like, the fact have you, how, what have you guys spoken? Yeah, well, I'm shocked by the whole progression of your, your liking you Instagram doing posts. That, like, that, that that happened. Like, that's a story. And then that you don't have the, the communication after the fact. Because if, if you want him to go, and, and this is your brand of everybody being out in front, then you need to be out in front. Yeah, yeah, this is this is well. Look, I, I put together five teams that I'd like to see him. Okay. Go oh, because I have a list as well. Yeah, I don't have a five. list, but oh, I have yes. I have, have some. A, wow, ideas. shocker! The Kansas City Arrowhead. No, <laughs> that's not what's. Guys, I have a list too. Well, no, look, that's, I have a list you know. of one. Hey, you know what? One really good oh, idea. You guys are gonna make me angry. Well, you're gonna that make, is not no, how I do the God dog really show. Inter it's really interesting for the Falcons. Nobody will be able to guess who might have my list. You're wrong. All right, go ahead. Bro. All right, let me let me. <laughs> You're wrong. Let me say this. Okay, go tell De us. Devontae is. I give him credit for his professionalism because if I'm Devontae, I'm I'm like good riddance. Like I am so out of here. He's you know, been I'm saying that for like I months. I, I feel like he's he always says the right thing. Yeah, you know. I mean, maybe some, but. He should be out here. Look, is this, is he a definite Hall of Famer already? Yes. I, and I wide receivers that at Hall right. of Famer are going to be – they're going to change the rules on it. The in right. my opinion, he checks all the boxes, but I think it's – I don't think he's going to walk in. He's had a pretty impressive – He definitely yeah. was, yes. but I'm just saying he's okay, – because but, he's been on a bad team, he's fake. I want to get to a team that can win and, and okay. solidify my Hall So let me hear this time. So here we go. He loves Southern California or the West Coast. I'll put it that way. So we can keep you out West. The, the Rams, I, I think they could use. 
use him. Obviously, they, they got, got some receivers. injuries. You, you, they're banged up. Okay. All right, they got Matthews average. Keep it, here's another one. Keep him out west. They need a receiver. And Justin Herbert, I don't want Jim John Harbaugh. Jim Harbaugh, I'm glad that they're better. But don't turn Justin Herbert into just handing the ball off. All right, get him a receiver. Okay. Number three, Buffalo. I like this a We lot. know, obviously, they need a receiver. Same thing. Josh Allen, we, we want him to be able to light it up in the passing game. Here we go. Look, again, not great for my pick, but I'm objective. Number two, the Chiefs. I mean, go get Devontae Adams, right? If you can't get Tyreek, he'd be number one. But if not, get Devontae. And then this one, I agree. I don't think it – the way things are looking, they're not winning the Super Bowl even if they get this done. But that's also okay. – But this one, he yeah. obviously – Rodgers, right. and um, yeah. it will help my AFC East pick. Can I, I, can I, can I, can oh, I say – and but no, but it's it also the Vegas, Vegas says if he gets tapestry. traded, it that's where he'll tapestry. go. Yeah. I say – I usually love bruise lists. Yeah. I hate that one. Uh, why? So let me, really? let me explain why, just real quick. Because – Almost none of those teams were on any of the ones I jotted down. Okay. Chargers made a concerted decision to get younger, clean up their cap, and take their medicine this year, as did Buffalo. If Buffalo wanted aging, expensive receiver, if the Chargers did, they wouldn't have gotten rid of Keenan Allen. They wouldn't have gotten rid of Stephon Diggs. Do you think, so just I, quickly, do you think Stephon was more of like an attitude? Yeah, well, I don't think, I, yeah, but I, it's, it's, I think it was a little bit of both. But also, we're going to get younger. We're going to do those things. The Jets have, if I were to list the Jets, eight biggest issues right now. Wide receiver depth isn't one of them. Like, the fact that Alan Lazard seems to be more targeted than Garrett Wilson, mm. I don't think if, if the, the, the Jets need Rodgers and Wilson to get on the same page. He's they 79 do. rating when targeting him, 99 with everyone else. He's, it, 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 Lazard's having the better year to bring another one of his friends back over. So can I tell you the – This is like his typical group of friends that, that they've brought over. The, this is a really talented guy that's going to instantly right. be on the same page. There's not going to be a learning curve. And, and it seems like they have a, a fairly strong relationship. So that, that – and the Jets are, are all in anyways. Why not – Right, you're now, all granted, in. You granted, gotta... the last trade they make hasn't quite worked no. out. No. <laughs> Get him on but, the field. But I think, I think that uh, Devontae will actually show up and play. Okay, so I've got the teams that were not on Bruce's list that I think makes sense. Can I do it? Do I have time? Yeah, we have plenty of time. Okay. So, first of all, I would not be surprised if Devontae says, hey, you know where I'd like to go play? With the guy I came here to yeah, play with in New Orleans with Derek Carr. That was the whole point of this from the beginning. And then you guys got rid of him. And, they're, and they're, 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 they're in the mix. All right. I said this to you in the hallway, and you said that would be awesome. And I just think, you know what? You're going for it. You're spending no money at quarterback. You want to really see how far you can take it? Minnesota. Hey, guys. We have Justin Jefferson and Devontae Adams on the outside, and we're going to blitz the hell out of you with Brian Flores, and we're trying to win the Super Bowl right damn now. And Pittsburgh, awesome. who we know felt they needed a wide receiver, and their you know, field is playing better than they expected. They're 3-1, and one, all those things. I didn't have Kansas City because the Raiders would never trade within right. the division, and that, Coach, I do want your just general holistic take on this. I've always thought... That is the opposite of how teams should operate. If, like, you should want to trade within your division if you're on different timelines. Yeah. Because it's not only that you are, like, you're not competing with Kansas City you while he's assets. there, but now I'm depleting your assets, so when I'm competing, you're That's less. Right. So I actually think teams in sports should want to trade within the division more often, but the Raiders never would, which is why they weren't on my list, which is why I demanded a written apology from all of I you think a, <laughs> for a, impugning my list making. Go a, ahead. A tough part about that, though, is if you trade it to Kansas City, and, and who knows what it is, a one, a two, a three, whatever, whatever the number is, that that one would be a low one. Thirty second right, pick because right. they're going to win, they're gonna the win a lot of games. Yeah, the Super Bowl. <laughs> it's going to be a lower uh, pick. So you always you always got to look at at what the possibility. Right. Trading with the Jets. I mean that, no, could, that's go, fair. that could go any. The Chiefs first round way. pick is worse the same as the Patriots second round. Pick. Yeah, it's, it's, one, it's, one ah! it's not apples to apples <laughs> yeah. as you're doing this, and and the trade's got to work for the the player too. Too everybody's got to yeah. be on board. Yeah, Jets. I don't like Steelers. You don't like Yeah, I don't love that. Uh, no. Uh, Tyreek, unhappy. Wait, two Just for MVP? one second. Oh, Pro football talk. Here comes Florio 
floating around an idea. A Tyreek Hill trade from the Dolphins back to the Chiefs would not be easy to pull off. I like that. Like, oh, okay, so what are you saying? Uh, Florio, the idea is percolating. 